See, this is no the thing. Like, men are not like allowed. Freshman, that would be weird. Men are not allowed to have preferences, standards, and boundaries. Since that is shit, it's always met with contempt and shaming language. Oh, uh, that's. I mean, I the, guess just you keep guys, it to yourself. You can have like. You can have like preferences, but just don't like voice them. Because don't, don't make it like a fetish. Them. Yeah, just no, don't, no, don't, don't make it a fetish. Whatever. Well, I don't. I didn't think. <laughs> I don't think I made it a fetish. No, no, you didn't. I'm saying no. it would be weird if it was a fetish. But I think there's no problem with dating someone younger because like we date. I think we younger. recoiled because when I heard college girls, I I, heard, I just I thought was it was like, exclusively yeah. college girls. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I love just me like in my brain, girls, like, just like. Yeah, I no, thought abuse we of were, power and I just you're like currently me. sitting with four college girls. I just feel like yeah, that's me, like, and I'm like, I don't feel like an adult. Not you that know I'm what saying. I mean? Like, I still, yeah, but we, we were nice talking about yeah. context in which I would pay for a date, and that is one contact context in which I would more willingly be willing to pay because there's a proportionality in terms of what we can afford. And so I, I think I'd, mm-hmm. if I want to go to a really nice place and she doesn't work and she's in college then yeah then then, then i'd be more willing to pay but if, if the i'm person asked me to a nice I'm, place i expect them to pay but like i've had experiences where why wouldn't you just do it to be kind though? so why I've, isn't that an option let me just finish mm-hmm. so i've had some experiences where i've dated women who are make more money than i do um and so in those scenarios i mean should they pay i mean i've it's just weird because i've dated uh, there's one woman in particular. She was a, a litigation attorney, making two hundred to three hundred thousand dollars a year. She still wanted the guy, like the guy, to pay. And I'm like, bruv, you make two, bruv, three hundred thousand dollars. Sorry, Andrew Tate is rubbing off on me. Um, bruv. So, but but I but I don't really. Okay, so I, I do want to challenge the age thing a bit. So, what do you think about cougars? I the so only thing cou- that I said is that no matter what relationship, especially with that big of an age difference, there will always be an abuse of power. So you think those? That is my opinion. So so you think whether it's an a older man guy or woman. dating someone younger or an older woman dating someone younger? Yeah. There's there is a power imbalance and it's abusive. No, an abuse of power. That abuse doesn't mean power. you're being abusive. It's an abuse of power Um, during relationships it's like if your boss not this is not a great analogy but you're just you're older and there's like there's that extent being that much older like 10 oh okay in your situation not really i'm just okay being employer employee that's a whole different no i know that's that's why i didn't go off go on there it was a bad analogy but what i'm saying is that with relationships that have such a large age gap Mm -hmm. There will be an abuse of power because there is an extensive amount of experience that the younger one had just never experienced, and it's super and it's easier to take advantage of, you know. In certain situations, like with certain people, not necessarily like you yeah. specifically. No, like, I'm not talking about you. I'm saying in general. But, but we we could also say that women get more experience romantically than men do. In general, who cares? That's but that's. No. Okay, I don't get why that's okay. So, what if you were dating someone with dementia, and he's oh alive? Wait, what? Oh, Chris. 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 And, it's and, Chris. And Chris. Bring out the Alzheimer's. It's getting late, man. Hold But on. wait, I don't understand why that has anything to do with Hold on, I got to play though, this man. for Chris. Hold on. Everybody knows you never go full retard. <laughs> never go full retard. Like, you see what I'm saying though? Like, if if you were like a a young woman and there was like this very old man with dementia. And he wanted to date him because he likes going to Denny's and he wanted yeah, to use okay, his, but his, has, his senior has a discount. Dementia, right? that's totally different. He probably thinks totally he's in his different. 20s. He's not dating a dementia. <laughs> I don't get why we keep Back bringing things them, up that are basically the same, dementia. that are just like the switched version, version of it with male and woman. It doesn't make it any better or any worse. I think but I, I do think, broadly you know? speaking, like what people view as socially acceptable, like I don't think anyone has like... People wouldn't look down on cougars. Like, it has its own Wikipedia page and shit. Yeah, it's also People a huge fetish. Them. Literally, like, that's... Everyone gets looked down on. It's not people. looked down on as much as older men dating younger women because cougars and MILFs are a fetish that have been come up by men. <laughs> like, 
DILFs are just now starting to be like, okay, maybe, like, maybe let's not criticize that and judge that just now, right? Like, do you know what I'm trying to say? Mm-hmm. Whereas, like, for example, just easy example, Stacy's mom, literally Stacey's a middle mom, school little. She got yes. it going on. Yeah, it's <laughs> just, it's not criticized as much because it's not fetishized, because it's fetishized. You know what Honestly, I mean? Yeah. Love is love applies to age. Um, and I think that people are going to get hate for whatever they do. Agreed. Anything. So just do whatever you want. That is the moral of the podcast. Do what you want to do. Pay for yeah. her pay, pay for her want. food. Do if whatever you, you want. If you don't and she gets mad, she wasn't the one. You didn't exactly. Want you didn't communication. Want anyway, so yeah. communication, oh, communication is key. <laughs> communication major over here. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. yeah, I mean... Yeah, I just feel like that that was an interesting insight there. It it does seem to me that men are very often shamed mm-hmm. when they have and I I don't even have a, necessarily a preference for women who are like younger. And when I say younger, I mean like say 18 to 23 or whatever like um but and I mean it's of the women I've dated in the past couple of years, like most of them are 27 to 33 in that we're just saying in general 45 i guess sounds like that that yeah i don't want to get too deep into (laughs) into that just because but um yeah so um kind of just to bringing it back to uh the who should pay thing um i'm trying to (laughs) i am so fucking tired we're almost done i'm sorry kylie we are almost done we'll wrap up in five minutes here you said that i know i know we we went off on two no, we, we went off. To I'm an Oka Mitzvah. I had plans at like 9.30. Okay, let's read the, then let's just read Same. the super chats here and then we'll, we'll wrap it up. Chris, Perfect. can you pull up the super chats? We could always super do like a part chats. two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Let's do a part yeah. two. I like this panel. We're, yeah, yeah, yeah this, was, this was really 